What's up guys? It's your boy Young Beast. Make sure you guys don't forget, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification, and hit the like on the video. Help him a go 500 subscriber guys. So make sure you guys go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the bell, and follow me all down below guys. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Peace out. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. I can't. I can't prove it. Her. She, she you know ass. all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. left-wing leaning parasite you expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel you call me that you sit there and you call me those names you goddamn goy butt snatcher you and that stup gauge why did you do it mr kalu gauge he's in the chamber of commerce he's in with all those momsers he blocked every proposal i ever put forward kike this and kike that he's been trying to ruin my business for years edgar kalu i'm charging you with the first degree murder of everett gauge I respect your beliefs. <laughs> yeah. For your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done. My town, damn! It is just officer folks, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young folks. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Yeah, tell him again, boy. <laughs> I'm pimping. Hey, hey. I'm pimping. Hey. So whoop, pimping. So whoop, pimping. So whoop. Hey. So whoop. So whoop. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps.
What's up guys, it's your boy Young Beast. Uh, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on all platforms. And also, check out my second channel. So please guys, go ahead and pause the video. And go ahead and leave a like on the video here. Subscribe to the channel, click on notifications, and follow me on all platforms guys. Thank you, and enjoy the video guys. Peace out. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that? Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we are partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up. You'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. I'm just praying the freight They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another accommodation? You know this place? Sir, near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. All units, a 459 just occurred at 6th and Sir, Any tell me. Yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant and fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. You finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. No, oh, fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrol. All units, a 459 just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K, a 459 suspect just left 6th and Saris. Suspect is a male Caucasian. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. 
Go check out my song, Ride or Die, guys, down below. Check out, I thought, check out my song, um, OKC, down below. And the last one, check out my song in the club, guys, down below. And make sure you guys leave a like on all three songs, guys. Thank you. Peace out. Now, make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Is somebody going to tell us what the hell is going on? Now, are we going to make a bargain or what? The weapon down now. You want to back off right now. You want me to paint the fucking sidewalk? <laughs> On your own goddamn head. Bam. <laughs> Look what you've done! That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the coroner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Nice day for it. How long are you gonna keep me here, sir?
Doc? Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. This isn't what we're looking for. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Happier times, I guess. Thirty-two years old, married, sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Get back here, Phelps. We're not done yet. Keep searching. I know, shut up. Brand name might give us something to go on. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regularly, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Did 
Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. <laughs> yeah, I got a good hair. If you Hell have to, yeah. I guess. I yeah. can't really spend no more time over this. <laughs> Somebody's yeah. got to inform the White House. You're done here. We'll head over there now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. Got off one right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The hell? Six twenty Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill, a couple blocks north of Central Station. So, what do we tell the wife? We play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Well, obviously someone got a little heavy-handed. It's the wrong way around. Well, how so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. You got something there, Phelps. It doesn't add up. Alive. You read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. <laughs> he pops the hood and... He's on a rail crossing. Oh, you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil and the Southern Pacific Freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> What a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity working traffic, Phelps. And who needs a second amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, Phelps. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me? The whole thing feels hinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition, Bukowski. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. Was that my fault? Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured, 
We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Insta-Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, occasions that made you laugh, times that made you smile. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Doesn't look like anything. Not everything here is going to be relevant. No use leaving the thing half finished.
can't be right. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. I'm all right now, detectives. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So you didn't arrange to meet him out at the rail yards? I've never been near a rail yard in my life. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Yes, I am accusing you. Your husband was going to leave you. That's motive. Now your only alibi is an empty house. Get it off your chest. Tell me the truth. 
Whatever your theories are, you're going to have to prove that I was there and that I wanted to hurt him. Do you think you can do that, detective? Find my husband, you incompetent fool, or the LAPD will be facing a lawsuit. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. You and your husband are in separate bedrooms. What gives? Did you want him out of the way, Margaret? No, I did not. My husband and I may have drifted apart, but it, it wasn't my choice. Our job is to find out what happened to your husband. Your lack of cooperation can only hinder our investigation, Mrs. Black. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Why aren't you using the siren? No, you don't. I the turkey someone... salad sandwich was great. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. I just don't know how to dance. Frank people. Morgan? Who's ass? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? 
Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Quiet drink on his own anymore. When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. You're lying, Morgan. What happened to Adrian? I have ten guys who say I was here the whole night. You think you can prove I was there? You signed your name and left it on the slaughterhouse receipt, Frank. We couldn't have you colder if we found you curled up in the back seat. All right, all right. I helped him. He wanted it to look like his car got hijacked. He's fallen for some dame up in Seattle, and now he's got to go start a new life with her. Goddamn fool. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you! He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Goddamn Harry thinks he can... there. <laughs> you got Morgan's address? Let's get over to his apartment. Let's go! Oh, I love this game! Ah, I love this game. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. Huh. The type is clever, hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. ATPL calling car 11K. 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Message from Tactical Services. Bud found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE Freight Depot is not human. Roger, KGPL. Trying to reel this guy in, folks. Roger, KGPL. Trying to reel this guy in, folks. place out. Come on. Help you gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. 
I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. Mr. Black, get back here right now. Oh. Stop right there, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. <laughs> you keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you could go a long way in this department. Some love. I'm looking for a relationship to hold me down. I'm not playing games, I hit you with the Rick James. They call me Harry Kane with the bling. They call me Super Clean. Because I got bling, I'm running, that's my thing. I let my chain hang in the twink and I see green. I know I'm clean, so let me get in the joint. I'm a mean machine, I make some cream, I mention the bar and sing. I'm looking for a pre on thing, show it like she's never seen. Trust me, I'm gonna treat you right. Mom, I always told people like, one day gonna be my wife until I'm gonna be clever every night. Like for now, I'm gonna pass my wife because I'm done for the night.